All right, it's time to wrap up another month. And I honestly don't know how we got here. Like, how are we in November? I think I said this last time, but I feel like these months are going by way too quickly and I do not appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, so for this wrap up, I am on my couch. Figured I'd bring a coffee, so this is fresh from the press. If I'm looking at general, what was October like? Yeah, I need to check my calendar to see what happened in October. So I have my laptop with me, which is nicely out of view so that you guys don't see I'm actually cheating. I don't know what happened in October. I have no clue, so we're gonna go over this and kind of see what happened together because I'm lost sometimes on like what happened yesterday. <laughs> so let's let's figure this out together. I went to the zoo on the 1st of October, which was very nice. Oh yeah, I had an x-ray taken again. <laughs> um, this was the 3rd of October. I actually had an x-ray that I took because I had stubbed my toe and it was hurting really bad. Honestly, it still hurts. It's very weird, but nothing is broken for that. So that's good. Um, I had a lot of dinners in that first week of October. So I went out with, with one of my colleagues. I went out to meet the parents. And then I also went out with another friend. So it was a lot. Then I had some streams on Saturday. I had, let me see, just a general physical therapy, stuff like that. And then I got sick. The 11th of October, I got sick. I was sick for like a week and a half. I didn't get to do anything really. Then we had Fright Nights on the 22nd. Then stream with Shannon on the 24th. Um, dinner on the 25th, which I think is the vlog that you guys are have just watched. Hopefully you've watched it. If not, then I'll make sure to leave that link somewhere for that vlog, but that is the most recent vlog. Then spend a day in Amsterdam on Thursday. And then it was the weekend relay. So we had the weekend relay at the 28th of October. And then that's almost it. So then 30th of October, just a regular day. And then the 31st, we did a Halloween dress up stream with Shannon on her channel. If you've not watched that, I recommend that you do because, you know, we dressed up and it was a lot of fun. So you should definitely go check that out. I'll, I'll make sure to leave it linked so that you guys can check that out. But that one was really fun. So I had a good Halloween. I tend to not really do a lot with Halloween, but I kind of liked the dress up of it. So um, yeah, that happened as well. As for writing and book related updates, I think there isn't that much I can update you on, but in October, I got to send out the Stitching Collection for everyone that bought it. So everyone should have their copies now, which I'm very happy about. If you want to get your own copy with my signature, you can always find it linked down below for my website. But yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very happy that everyone's received it and just in time for like the, you know, Halloween vibes. So that was really nice. And for other book stuff, I started prepping for November, like three days before. So I didn't actually use October as a preptober. I just kind of said, oh yeah, um, November is like in three days. Am I doing nano? Am I not doing nano? What am I doing for nano? So I kind of just started prepping a few days before. I kind of knew what I wanted to work on, which is my vampire story idea. And that was that was all I had. I had about 10,000 words in that, like 10, almost 11,000 words in that project for the 10K day I did in July. So that was all I had in that project. And sure, I had an outline and stuff like that, but I had not looked at that project since July and not even like touched it. So I went back in and actually reread the whole project, which you can see in one of the vlogs um, that is coming up. But then I ended up starting it 
during the Sword House Hearth Weekend Relay, which is the next vlog. So keep watching my channel and you'll see that vlog. So that's really all I did for like book updates. I basically started writing again, which feels good, but that should be more of an update for November because I, I have more updates, but this is not for October. So we'll get to that when we get to that. Then if I look into my analytics, which yeah, I tend to do, I actually saw that I'm like doing okay again a little bit. I was a little bit upset last month with the growth on my YouTube channel and I think I, I touched on that a little bit and I'm not like upset upset. I was just like, oh, it's not really growing, you know, um, kind of stagnated. I have to say that I think I broke through the stagnation a little bit again, which fingers crossed it stays that way. But I basically am at 264 on the 31st of October. Now that drops down to 263 on the 1st of November, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> at the time of recording this video, I'm actually at 274 already and it's only the 11th of November. So that gives me a little bit of hope that we're, we're getting somewhere again with like my, my growth on that. Um, which I know I shouldn't be focused on these numbers and I, I, I shouldn't be, but at the same time, like it's the way that I see the growth if that makes sense, like it's it's a visual thing that you're like, oh yeah, it's growing or it's not growing. Like you can actually see if it's growing or not. But I know that I shouldn't be focused on this. I'll, I'll try to be better, I promise. Views wise, I had 972 views this like October month and then 76.6 .6 watch hours. I had 35,000 impressions, which I'm like, what? That's a lot in my head. Um, I actually don't know what it's compared to to my other months because I haven't actually checked that but in my head it, it looks like a lot. Then click through rate wasn't too bad it was 1.7 and subscribers as I said at 264 for the end of October. Then that a little bit YouTube so I feel like YouTube is doing a little bit better than it was before which I'm I'm happy about. I don't know what I changed. I don't know what I did. To, um, to have this because I actually took a week off in October because of my sick so I didn't post videos for like a week which I mean it's only two videos but in my head it, it was like oh no in my head I'm always like I need to keep everyone updated I need to make sure that I have content like all these things but in the end it doesn't really matter if I if I need to take a week off I need to take a week off like as I said I don't have to be as focused on like the numbers and the growth all the time I need to look at what I'm capable of and what I can do and if that means taking a week off that means taking a week off I'm okay with that hopefully at some point maybe <laughs> then if I grab my notebook again and look at the follower counts I guess on the other socials so Instagram is very much stagnated is at 6 11 which I feel like it's around 6 10 6 11 for a couple months now which I'm I'm fine with because I honestly haven't been posting anything I've really been doing a lot I've only posted to my stories every once in a while like I'm not really fully interacting on Instagram so I understand that and I'm okay with that same thing goes for like X I guess we're calling it now I mean the old Twitter I'm at 226 which I feel like is also kind of where I'm at usually on that same thing, I'm not really posting anything there, so I'll go with that. And then same for TikTok, I'm at 69 followers there, which is the same thing. I'm not like actively interacting with anything there. I'm not actually posting anything there, so I don't expect any growth there either, so it's all good. I think what I've found in October is that I haven't really been doing all the things all the time. And to be honest, I feel kind of good about that in a way. So if I look at like the hours I did in October, they're kind of the least <laughs> hours I've done this year, except for August, because August was my full on holiday. But if even if I look at like July, which, you know, wasn't the best month for me versus October, like October is less. <laughs> I spend less time working on stuff. And that also obviously is because I was sick and I didn't do anything for like a week. But it's also because I feel like I'm trying to balance my life a little bit more in a sense of I don't want to only spend my time doing all the things for my author and creator life. Like I also want to be able to live my life and not just always grind, I guess, in a way, because I'm a very much 
someone that always pushes myself to do more and to keep going and to always do all the things but it's not really realistic and that's what I'm realizing that it's okay to take breaks it's okay to sit on the couch and do nothing I've actually been playing video games again which I've been excited about because I've, I have a lot of them and I have my switch and now I also have a playstation and I don't actually sit down and play any games like I have all the things I just don't do it and I feel like I've been wanting to kind of do that more like I've been wanting to do more gaming I've been wanting to do more reading not that I've done that and I've been wanting to just in general do more things that I enjoy doing besides the grind of like trying to do all the things so I'm I'm like trying to find a better balance I guess I'm trying to say so I've been playing video games, you know, Mario Wonder came out and I've been excited about playing that. I kind of, you know, stopped playing it because now I have other games that I want to play and that's probably my problem. I never finished anything, but I really enjoyed kind of playing the first kind of couple worlds and then other things came up when I started playing that. But there's so many things that I enjoy playing. I got back into Animal Crossing, which I loved you know, when I first got my Switch. And I got back into that. I'm actually, you know, doing some daily tasks again. Not that I'm like actively changing anything on my island at the moment, maybe at some point, but just trying to kind of catch everything and fulfill my museum, because I haven't done that. The only thing that I've complete is the fossils, but whatever. <laughs> kind of like doing all of that is, is a nice way to sit down and just kind of relax and do nothing. And it's something that I want to do and not something that I feel like I have to do, which with some of these things I do in life, I sometimes feel like I have to do it and I force myself to do it. Whereas I feel like I should want to do it and not feel like I have to do it. And I think October has been really kind of that month of change in my mindset of like, okay, see what you want to do as well. And it's okay to relax and it's okay to take time for yourself and stuff like that. So I think a lot of growth has been happening in my head. Maybe not so much on paper, but I can feel the change, which is good. And you can see it in the reflection of how many hours I did in October. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that. I feel like November is gonna be a great month for me too. I'm excited about November. I'm excited about December. I'm excited about next year. I'm excited about all the things. And I feel like I had lost that excitement for a while, so I'm happy that I've regained that and we're here, so good things are happening. Good things are happening. Yes. <laughs> so that's October. I don't really have a lot more I have to say about October. I think this basically covers it. As I said, I haven't really been reading, so I can't really tag that on to, oh yeah, I've read books in October. I got more books in October. I haven't read any of them. But, you know, we're not going to discuss that. I'll, I'll make a video about that at some point, but let's not, let's not get into that. So yeah, I don't have a lot to share about, about October anymore. This is, this is October. This is what it was. And I'm excited about November. We're now, you know, doing nano and, and all of that. So hopefully you'll stay tuned to see those videos come up later on on my channel. But I'm excited. I'm looking forward to where everything takes me. So yeah, let me know how your October went. Did you use October to uh, prep your novel for November for the NaNoWriMo challenge? Or are you not even participating and you're doing your complete own kind of thing? If you want to share something about your October, I'd really appreciate it. Leave something down in the comments. I make sure to reply to all of my comments. So I'm excited to interact with you and get to know you a little bit better. And hopefully I will see you in the next ones. Bye.